a message of hope and resilience from oncologists to royal fans about the Princess of Wales' cancer that it can be painful, ugly, and scary. It is understandable to feel uncertainty and a sense of vulnerability. Yet Catherine wants to assure you all that she is determined to face this challenge with unwavering spirit together with you and her beloved husband and the unwavering support of our exceptional medical team. Catherine's openness about her recent cancer journey has been a transformative moment for the British monarchy. By sharing personal videos and updates about her treatment, she broke with royal tradition, which typically maintains privacy around health matters. One aspect that caught the eye in the video was that Catherine was sporting her long hair, a characteristic feature that she'd maintained throughout her public life. This has raised questions among viewers as to whether the princess had lost her hair during treatment or if, on the contrary, she was wearing a wig. While no specific details about her diagnosis or treatment have been revealed, it's important to note that not all chemotherapy cases cause hair loss. In addition, there are methods that can help mitigate hair loss during chemotherapy, such as scalp cooling. Although it's not been confirmed whether Kate used this method, her ability to retain her distinctive hair is a testament to the strength and resilience during this difficult process. Now that she's cancer-free, her next steps involve a balance between maintaining her health and resuming royal duties. To understand the royal's road to recovery, NHS GP Dr. Raj Arora explained to us that with any kind of chemotherapy, there will be a period of physical and emotional recovery. So the Princess of Wales is likely to have a gradual recovery. Her recovery won't happen overnight. It'll take time. And she alluded to that in her statement so she's aware of the recovery track she's on. Depending on the type, chemotherapy can be administered in either a hospital or a patient's home. There are over a hundred types of chemotherapy drugs, but they all work in similar ways to circulate through the blood. The specific dosage and type of chemotherapy used varies depend on the type of cancer. The effectiveness of preventative chemotherapy varies considerably from patient to patient. During this time, there are many things she could do for the best hope of remaining cancer-free, and there are some lifestyle measures to help. One is a healthy diet, Dr. Raj Aurora explains. The diet is the key component in recovery for her. Two, an active routine. The princess is known to love exercise, and this is crucial in recovery. She should gradually introduce exercise into their lifestyle and stay physically active, engaging in regular exercise. Three. Stay safe in the sun. Reducing risk factors from the sun is important, so Catherine should make sure she's wearing sunscreen and protective clothing. 4. Avoid toxins from smoking and limit alcohol consumption. 5. Stay stress-free. As a mother of three and a senior member of the royal family, Middleton likely experiences some stress in her life, but Dr. Raj Aurora cautions that chronic stress has been linked to an increased risk of cancer. We know that she found solace in nature during her treatment, and hopefully the great outdoors will continue to be a bomb for the royal. 6. Regular screenings. 7. Sleeping well. The Princess of Wales has admitted to sleep troubles in the past, but sleeping well is essential to recovery. Insiders suggested that she'll return to public engagement slowly while continuing to focus on causes like mental health and children's development. While there is hope for a November appearance by the Princess of Wales, royal watchers can expect a likely return to full-time royal duties in the month after that. The report states that her private secretaries and the Wales's communication secretary are holding more regular meetings with the princess so that they can plan the future. However, there is no expectation for her to rush back to public life. A friend told the news outlet, people know and understand it's a long journey to recovery.